This is a video review for the Alstom Bluetooth earphone. So I'm going to start the video by showing you exactly how it fits into your ear. So, so it has a silicone inner piece and then it has another silicone top piece. Um, see, the top piece goes it doesn't go into your ear canal, it goes into like the inner fold of your ear and it kind of just holds it in place. So I just want to show you exactly how that fits in before anything further. And then the control toggle is on this. This is on my left ear. So that's how you'll know which one goes into which. So I'll show you a close up of the whole thing. Okay, so here's how it, how, here's how it looks. Uh, it's got like a carbon fiber type look with a green accent, glossy, uh, outer piece. It's got a green accent band around the middle and a, uh, like I showed you before, silicone inner piece and a silicone uh, ear stabilizer piece, we'll call it. So it actually comes with a few replacements and these are all different sizes. There's looks like there's three sizes of the inner piece and two sizes of the um, ear stabilizing piece. So you've Pick one that fits you best, and of course it comes with a little micro USB cable. It doesn't come with a charger, but you could put it in your cell phone charger or whatever else. It has a nice hefty instruction book that you don't need, but you do need to read the first couple of pages to see what each of the uh, button functions are, because you otherwise wouldn't, you really wouldn't know unless you watch this video, which I'm going to tell you. So there's a uh, panel here that removes to plug in the charger. And then there's three buttons on here. That's all. This is controlled by three buttons. So there is a plus and a minus. So what the plus and minus does is it controls volume if you press it once. If you just press it once at a time, it's going to control volume. If you long press it, you hold it down for about a second, it's going to skip tracks um, forward and backwards, of course. And then the middle button, they call a function button. It's got a little symbol of a phone on it. So this obviously can play music. It could also connect to your connect to your the, the phone function of your cell phone. Uh, if you press it once, it's going to uh, pause or play your music. If, you, if your phone is ringing, it's going to answer the call, or at the end of a phone call, you could press it and it will hang up the call. Uh, if you long press it right now, it's actually going to redial the last number, which... Um, I don't really like that, but that seems like a common function with these Bluetooth, with all Bluetooth controllers. Um, so I've ac just accidentally called my boss a second ago. So this is um, the uh, cord that connects it is a uh, rubberized silicone cord, and it has this uh, adjustable piece here, so you can kind of shorten it on yourself. It seems to hold in securely. I put the I put these in and jogged around a bit, and they they hold they hold in securely. Um, I think if you play with it and get pick the right inner piece, it's going to be that fits best for you. You're going to get the best results. So let me show you how it pairs. So I've got an old phone here. So all you do is turn your Bluetooth on if it's not on already. Okay. And then on the unit, turn it on. So you power it on by pressing this button for three seconds. And, and once you power it on, it, it just said something through the earphones, I think it said powered on. And there's a little tiny light here. There you go. And it's blinking blue and red right now. Just, I doubt you can see it. Blue and red means that it is ready for being detected in Bluetooth. And there it is. It came up real quick. This is the, it comes up, says Austum Jog, jog two, J O J O G T O, and just click on it to pair it for the first time, and it will pair every other time automatically. So I don't have any um, music tracks on here, but I have YouTube, of course. So. I don't. So right now it's streaming through the uh, earphones. 
I don't know if you can hear it. I'm trying to hold it up to the microphone on the camera, but it works. So one thing I'll show you is that the con volume controls on this are independent of the are independent of the volume on the uh, phone. So when you press this up and down, it's not changing the volume. It's not changing the volume on the phone. It's changing the sort of max volume of these. So you have to adjust your phone to the maximum volume volume that you want this to allow. So what I would recommend is start the phone all the way at the top volume. Don't put these in your ears yet because it might be way too loud. And then turn the volume on this unit down. And then you can then increase the volume a unit at a time until you get as high as you want it to be. So that will allow you to see what's the maximum volume that you... That will allow you to get the maximum volume out of the phone. If you want to control the volume, then great, you can actually limit it on the phone and set the volume on the phone to about halfway, and then then you can con control it even further on this. But just to be clear on that, so the phone will max out the volume, and then this will control the volume up to that maximum. So if you want full power, you got to put the phone on maximum, and then this can can can, can lower it. So that's that. Um, I got these at a deep discount in exchange for my honest and unbiased review. Uh, they're cool. They look cool enough. They, it seems pretty well made, actually. I like that it syncs up with the Bluetooth right away, and I've played with this a bunch of times. After you turn off the Bluetooth, turn it back on, whatever, once you power these on, it'll your phone will actually ask you if you want to pair it up. Um, and then actually with many Bluetooth um, devices, you might not realize especially with, with Bluetooth uh, audio devices, you always have an option in your phone. You could do audio, phone audio or media audio. Like, I might not want to use this for a phone. I might not want it to ever accidentally call someone or I don't want to talk through it. I just want to use it maybe to go jogging and listen to it through there. So you can actually disable that if you wanted to and only use this to play music through uh, to eliminate distractions. Um, so it, do, it does have some, like... Uh, audio it reads off what's going on so it'll tell you you know that they're powered on it'll tell you that it'll that it's pairing or whatever it's it speaks to you through the uh, headset so uh overall i do recommend these they're pretty well made enough um, inexpensive little bluetooth headphones so check it out if you have any comments questions or whatever feel free to leave them uh below thanks